Bam. Hey, y'all. What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. We're doing something different, y'all. Okay. First and foremost, I got to introduce somebody new, okay, that y'all don't normally see up here on the panel with me. You normally see her in the chat all the time. This is Jay, girl. My Jay, girl. My girl, Jay. This is my <laughs> sister friend, my friend's sister. I love her. Welcome to my panel, Jay, girl. Hey, mama. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ever since you said you love Survivor, I said I freaked. I freaked out because, baby, when I tell you, ain't nobody, ain't no other sister I know <laughs> that stands survivor. I got so excited when you said that you are a Survivor <laughs> fan. I said, yes, yeah, somebody I get to geek out and nerd out with about <laughs> Survivor because I'm addicted to Survivor. I've been addicted to Survivor for what? what what's it been on? 40 years? Yeah. <laughs> 2020. 40 years? It's been like 50 yes, yes. years it's been on. But no, it came, It first came on, was it in 2000? Like 99, 2000. I remember yeah, 99, that around that area. Um, I remember my mom and I watched the first two seasons. Uh, and the first season had us rolling. Because I yes. know that first night of them sleeping on the island and they had to eat rats and <laughs> rice. And then the second season, Tina Wesson was the winner, and she was mm -hmm. from my hometown, Knoxville. So All that's right. why. Mm -hmm. So that I, that's how far I am. And then kind of got lost through the seasons. But then what brought me back was in grad school when mm -hmm. I was just doing my thesis all the live long days. So I just started replaying it. I don't know why, I, I because I like binge watching stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I, I decided to revisit it. And like back then when I was like, eighth grade, ninth grade, I didn't under, really understand the social game, but like as yeah. an adult, it was kind of eerie because it was like, this is my, <laughs> this is my everyday life. Uh-huh. <laughs> so like, I got to vote somebody off my island of friendship. <laughs> yeah. so, like, <laughs> but like looking at the social has been game, like that for me too. Mm -hmm. it's like 90% of the survivor really is the social game. And like, it really is 10% about I mean, get granted, it really is luck a lot of times. Yeah. So yeah, you the luck is having the initiative to find the immunity idol that has been brought into the game over seasons and then people taking the initiative and really breaking the mm -hmm. realms of Survivor and like really creating it. Like, um, I forgot his name, but he was on the Yellow Tribe and he said, fuck the clues. <laughs> <laughs> these clues i'm just gonna hunt outside and start looking for the immunity idol uh -huh. and because of that they've had to always change the game because these star players have taken the initiative to completely change the structure so mm -hmm. i now that 46 this is like there's like fresh meat there's no any returning yeah. players it's not an all-star season it's completely fresh and new. So I'm excited to see fresh new faces. I am too. I've been addicted to my mother was the one that actually got me on survivor. My mother, I think she's the one that I get my reality gene, like reality addiction gene from, cause she was addicted to big brother. I know had she still, still been around living when housewives came out, she would have been addicted oh, to so. all <laughs> the housewives <laughs> franchises. Like, but she was the one that got me on survivor. Cause I remember her talking about it one day. She was like, Y'all, these crazy ass white folks, <laughs> they went out here in the jungle. And do you know they ass had to sleep out there in the jungle in some hut? They had to make a house. And I'm like, now what? The, ain't no black people gonna do that. But lo and behold, yes, there's at least it's one black representation on every. Yes. At least so I one. started watching it with my mama and got addicted. And I have been addicted ever since being that. And I'm not gonna lie, I got me a little crush on Jeff Probsey. <laughs> oh, see, listen, I don't care what nobody say about what, even now with his Mac, <laughs> beat hey, okay, probes he be beat and snatched to the gods with the mascara and the brows and all that. But I still love me some Jeff Probsy, okay? I don't know what in the death becomes her <laughs> sipping on back there. But well, Probesy is keeping it together, okay? All the Botox got him looking good. I don't care what nobody say, baby. Probesy got it going on. That is yeah. a great reference. That is the best movie. <laughs> we need to, we'll talk about that later. 
nerdy girls, nerdy girls. We got to have our own little segment. Nerdy girls nerd out on shows, girl. Okay, Please. so look. Let Proby's eyes save lives. That's all I'm going to say. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Proby's Proby's legs to go khakis. down. He brought khakis back, baby. <laughs> Probes he needs to go down in a Guinness Book of World Records for the most khaki pants ever <laughs> worn in one single person's goddamn life. Because I ain't never seen Probes in nothing else but a button down, them khakis, them dockers, or whatever he got. Them <laughs> the Reebok. Dockers hit him up. up. Every <laughs> single time. Endorse okay. him. I'm sipping on a little pink Moscato tonight. You sipping on anything special and, tonight? You know, I like, I'm not going to show the label, but I got myself a little can of bliss. Yes. I'm in a legal state, so. <laughs> that's what I, I was just going to say. I'm jealous, okay, because we are not in a legal state, but that's all good. I got my vape. That's all right. Work it out. Okay, nope, y'all. So. They're not sponsoring us, but PAX is no. everything. <laughs> PAX is everything. PAX. Holla at your girl. Hit, hit us up. <laughs> Holla at your sisters. Okay? I've been with you since generation one, since the first. And you know what? Quite honestly, refer a friend because my <laughs> sister was the one that referred me to PAX. So, PAX, can you hear me now? Hit us can you up. Hear me now? We love hit Cannabis. Up, so, that's, that's what also brought us together. <laughs> Cannabis. <laughs> Survivor, <laughs> those two like those. Yes. Like, Bliss and Survivor is everything, anything, and everything. Like I swear, I never miss an episode without my goodies, and I think watching it enhance really helps us keep up with the gameplay. Like sometimes that social game, and like some, it was so fun because some of the players, I was like, watch what happens, and we were able to predict he was going to make moves, so it was good. <laughs> It was good. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are on season 46 of Survivor. This is like a full picture of the whole cast, but we're going to break down each individual tribe as we get into it. Okay, so the first tribe that they had, okay, we'll go with the purple tribe first. Yanu, okay? Yanu, we got Banu. Banu, is that his name? <laughs> I think so. Okay, I hope so. If hope not, so. we'll figure it out next time. But he we'll is super fan at number I one. I like him. I like him. Banu, me and you. Listen, can you see me, Banu? We here. I'm gonna scoot over so you can see me, Banu. Okay, yeah, don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my first time up here. I'm so excited. Okay, so we got Banu. Banu is the man. I love Banu. He's super funny. Um, he's 41, representing for the 40 year olds. Let's get into a Banu. I'm here. We here with it, okay? Next up, we got Jelinski. That's it. That's that's it. That's all we're gonna say because he's a jinx, and that's all I'm gonna say. I'm going yeah, Jelinski the jinx. That's it. Yes, Next up, I, and he's a J slot machine salesman. Don't buy nothing from him. Which explains everything. Oh, he's 21. That he's explains 21. everything. Child, you can't do nothing for me, okay? Because you, you know, Jelinski, no, <laughs> no. Next up, we have Jess. Jess is 37. Do you know Jess by chance? It's since no. she's around the area. You know, I always think just because you're from the same place, you might know somebody. <laughs> Haven't ran into her. Dang, that would be cool, though. That would be Apparently, cool. On, on her thing, um, she said the outfit that she's wearing, she mm -hmm. she she made. So she makes oh, her own really? clothes and stuff. So I love to print. I love well, to God. print on that. Mm -hmm. Jess. Talented. I'll let your auntie girl go <laughs> make me a little <laughs> software engineer. She does a little sewing. <laughs> go ahead, <laughs> then, Jess. Jess. <laughs> Jess and LK. I'm going to finish introducing the rest of the cast, but Jess. <laughs> Not doubting yourself. That was the one thing that was irritating me about Jess. She was, she was not confident in herself. Kenzie, Kenzie is 28. Kenzie's my girl. Kenzie had like too Kenzie. much confidence. <laughs> Just kidding. She needs to share the wealth I with know. some of those. Jelinski, too. How about Jelinski? You share that wealth with some of those with, people with, with yeah. Delulu. <laughs> I like Kenzie, though. It's I love about Kenzie. Kenzie. Kenzie's I like great. Her. She's great. There's that energy. You want to know why? Well, yeah. we'll get to it later. But she has this energy besides Banu. She has the energy 
of a true like survivor fan. Yeah. yeah like yeah. she is, she hit the ground running. That's the type she's of energy we need. She's mm -hmm. definitely in my top. She's definitely mm -hmm. in my top. Next we have Q. Q gives mm. me the vibes of that one. I cannot remember his name because he was fine as hell, but I ain't gonna lie. He was not the brightest crayon in the box. <laughs> he was the first black dude that went home with two idols in his pocket. You Back in the him? day, yeah, vaguely, I, yeah, I, I do not remember his name. If y'all remember, we'll, if look watching, up, we'll look it up. <laughs> yeah, so you remember his name? Drop it down in the comments. That's he right. Was fine as hell. <laughs> but I was like, why are you so fine and not think at the same damn time? You had two idols in your pocket, baby. You could have. It would have been okay to sacrifice one of them. But I think because he was so fine, he didn't need to think prior. I don't and know. But what I got still him in have trouble. not got over not that. Q though. Q's a Q. thinker. Q thinks, yes, and I'm glad people listen to He's so Q. fine and he thinks. That's yeah. A, mm, yeah, that's he got a, he got he got brains. I, he I'm is even mad. Yeah. fine. <laughs> 20 fine, okay? And then we got Tiffany. I like Tiffany too. Tiffany is my too. girl. She's she's yes. the one that hit the ground running. She ain't new yes. to this. She is true to this. She came in, she done watched a couple, she done watched about four, five episodes, <laughs> I mean, seasons, just to get caught up, okay? <laughs> she gonna be ready for you, bitches, okay? All right, that is the Purple Tribe, that's the Anu Tribe, okay? Next, we have Sega. Sega is the Green Tribe. First off, we have Ben. Ben gives me, like, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. <laughs> Like <laughs> Wayne's World, Party Time, excellent. Like he gives me real air guitar. <laughs> yeah, that black vibe. That's what he tenacious gives me. D, definitely tenacious, tenacious D. D. Okay, that's what he gives me. I ain't saying nothing bad about it. He's thirty-one. Not he's my, at all. And he's, he's a, a broski. Exactly. He's a musician, so it works for him. It does. Um, Great energy yeah. for the tribe. Yes. Yeah, I think so too. And he he seems like he'd be a real good comic relief. Agreed. Charlie, he's twenty five. <laughs> he's such a baby. He's, he's a so baby. Cute. He's a baby. Aww. So cute though. He's very yeah. um, personal, personable. Like he seems like a safe man for all the women to connect with, as we yeah. find out later on in the episode. It just seems yeah. like they all seem to think that he's an he's a good balance. Well, because he seems like he's on the be island, easy, easily manipulated too. I'm not gonna lie, because <laughs> he's young. <laughs> yeah, no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. He seems like he can be very easily persuaded and manipulated to swing whatever direction you want him to go. That's what he seems like. I could be wrong. Prove me wrong. And and um, honestly, he seems like he's open to that because hell, mm -hmm. he wants to win just like everyone else. Who doesn't? Everyone's mindset on this first episode is I don't want to be the first one voted off. Right, right. So Which everyone's open him, but... to any type of networking at this time. But yes, he definitely seems compared to the the 21 year old Jelinski, this 25 year old seems to have a better head on his shoulders True. for the kids on the 20s in the early I, 20s yeah. on the season. So You're right. You're right about that. <laughs> you, I will agree because baby Jelinski is oh we don't like <laughs> this man. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we have <laughs> we have Jim. She's 31. Gorgeous. She's gorgeous, but I'm not gonna lie, it's something in her I don't trust. I think that's what that's the trademark of these pretty people. Yeah. That's the trademark yeah. of these pretty people. There's something about them that's just like alluring. Yeah, it's but alluring. And it's like mm -hmm. too close because they, they might strike us, bite you, things like that. For both men or women mm -hmm. and non-binary, whoever. It's everybody is there's an allurement for some people. Mm-hmm. So she um, has been playing the game. She is definitely already starting to play the game before she's I'm, even met anybody. I'm I'm watching her because she's somebody. Don't sleep on that bitch. Don't <laughs> sleep on her ass. I'm watching you. I'm putting a post it on you. Post a note on your ass. Jim. <laughs> I'm gonna pin you to the board, girl. Okay. I love it. Next up, Maria. Already she's 40, 40 girl. Okay. She's a 40, 40 girl. So I'm already rocking with her and she's a mom. So yes, of three, three kids. Gotta rock already. With Maria. 
And she, like, when I said we'll talk about it, she's already an all star for me. Yeah. Already. She is. All star. Yeah. We hit the ground running. She's already playing the game. And she has the best, like, I don't know. Her social game is already on point. She, she I think she's it. a fan, super right. fan too, for her to already I, know what's up. Mm -hmm. I do like how she said she ain't there to be nobody's mama. <laughs> yes. She ain't there to do that. That's point that. Blank period. Please. Okay. Respectfully, <laughs> fuck them kids. I'm here to get that million dollars. Respectfully. I ain't and even mad at you, Maria. Girl. You need, that is the exact mindset you're going to need. Yep. You ain't here to make friends. Yeah, I'll right. be cool with you. But oh, when it comes to that I'm money, see who you are for my game until I need to mm. vote you off. That Sorry part. for you, because this Sorry is survivor. That part. Um, Mariah, Paul Mariah, is was it Mariah that was allergic to everything, or was it Mariah? No, it wasn't Mariah. It was the on the yellow oh, team. Liz. Okay, the other girl on the other team. team. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Mariah, I don't have no impression here or there too much. We do, we do, right? She had like this whole story. I forgot what the story was. I think I, I'm gonna look in my notes real quick. She had this whole segment on her Mo on the go. She was said she call her Mo on the go. Mm -hmm. She's gone through some stuff in her life, and so when we, she's like ready to just live life. Because I think she had issues as a child. Oh, okay. Either I forgot what the background story was. I can't remember what it was either. That's okay. Yeah. But her she's Mo on the go. That's what she said. Mo on the go. She was one of her um castmates. So mm -hmm. we're gonna make it work. Yeah. And then we have Tim. Tim is a dad. Mm -hmm. He's another black man. I'm rooting for him. You know, um, <laughs> I don't have nothing to say bad or in between. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like. Tim is Tim. Tim is there. And you know, what oh, I'm saying? Yes. that's what I remember in my notes. Maria and Tim do make an early on connection because they relate about parents. being parents. Yeah. So and that's that what was, Maria was like, I, I'm don't get it twisted. Right. I'm a mama, but I ain't here to be nobody mama. <laughs> okay. And I like that because she's sizing up Tim. Tim is Tim doesn't seem grounded yet. No. I think he's really excited and he's mm -hmm. and he's very in the like I'm here for my kids, I'm here for my family. And Maria here is the same way, but Maria's grounded compared to Tim. Plus, he's still in this fantasy. Plus, I will say another thing. Tim is peeping that Jim and Mariah are starting to have little conversations and they're having conversations with Maria. And we are we they trying to bring Charlie in. The, what they really want to do is have an all female alliance, but they know again, Charlie is manip. He's that was Jim's swimming. idea. Jim says, Jim's it's, idea. It's, We're still tied three to three. We need majority, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna swing Charlie in to be like, you know, a part of they they got their own all girls alliance, but they pulling Charlie in and make him think he's a part of it. And Tim is low key peeping. Okay, I see what these females is doing, all these females is going around and talking. And like he said, I got a grandma. I, I got yeah. sisters. I got a mama. I already know how y'all females are. You ain't you ain't fooling no fucking body. I already know when y'all get together, it's like fuck them niggas. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's exactly that was his adage. And that then Ben's on trying to figure out how to play bongos or like open up a coconut and like. Thank you. So Tim peeping, I ain't even mad at you, Tim. Do you boo boo? <laughs> Exactly. Do but you see, do that's do part you. of the game that you need and that social game. Not only do you need yes. to talk to people, you do need to look at behavior because patterns tell on people. Everything. That's right. As we Watch find it. out Everything. later on with Jeff, he figures out a pattern so quick. Mm -hmm. So we got Hunter. Hunter is 27. <laughs> okay. He's a science teacher. I mean... <laughs> He used Where's to work he? at a camp. <laughs> he used to be a camp counselor. Him and Soda. Soda's 27. Mm -hmm. Soda used to be a camp counselor as well. I and like Soda. Ed. I do too. And she's I, I got to represent for the special ed teachers. That's right, Soda. She got the energy for it, for the unity. And like, it was just so great to see her because she was, again, another proactive player. Yes. She's here. She's leaning into the nerves. I think there's there's people who are definitely letting the nerves take over in some uh -huh. way where they're holding back. And then other people's nerves are having them like 
just jump in, hit yeah. the ground. So she like and she studied. She re she really talked. She because she was a camp counselor and she loves mm -hmm. camp songs. So she's with camp. Yes, and Hunter hates it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. His nightmare followed him to the island. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I can do about. I can do day one a camp song. <laughs> When we get in it, it's we gonna be out at that bitch for 20, 25, 20 something days. I don't want to hear 99 bottles be on the wall and all that every day now. Uh, day 17, okay. I don't want to hear no big booty on day. No. My booty is flat, it's done on day 17. No food, no booty. Okay. I'm done. I don't want to do it. But I do like soda, like you say. I, I like how too. she's leaning into the nerd, how she's she's out there, she's open, she's loud, she's fun. But in the long run, if she stays like that, I can see that being getting to people. Definitely. I can, yeah, I can see that. Definitely. I can see people wanting to vote her off easily purely for that, which is messed up because I've seen a lot of good people get sent home just for it's that. They have a good personality. Yes, it's just because not, they yeah. have a loud personality that's, or that's they're the sneaky players that are doing that. And yeah, because yeah. they know in the end they're gonna end, they have a potential that's the likable winning. personality. Exactly. Exactly. And mm -hmm. I would hate for Soda to get voted off Me too. strictly because of her personality, because she is loud and she's outgoing and she is who she is. I would hope not, knock on wood that she don't. Um, we have yeah. Liz. Liz is 35. Liz is the one that's allergic to every goddamn thing. <laughs> but she said she didn't want to be a big baby about it. That was that was what she said. Everybody yeah. was just trying to feel like, oh, you're not going to eat. She's like, no, I'm not going to be a big baby about it. It's okay. It just is what it is. And I respect that about her. But I, I really do, do hope but... that there's an intervention where she can get nutrients that she needs because that's unfair. That's completely that unfair. Or, right. Even that or, or she just gets a couple of extra scoops of rice. Yeah. So and it's she... not tainted or touched with anything. Right. This right. is Liz's pot. No right. one touched it. And I'll be, I'll, I bet Soda's going to be the one. This is Liz's pot. No one touch it. You touch her. You touch yourself. You touch me. You ruin yourself. On big period, and I ain't even mad at her for that. I mean, you don't touch yourself, please. Don't YouTube, don't please. do that. YouTube, too. okay. <laughs> um, next we have Randon. Oh, <laughs> okay, he's in the 40s club, so of course, oh, you know, 40s, I, 40, 40, yes, yeah, yeah. I got your back for that, you know, just simply because you're in the 40s club. The Him and thing, Tim had the same energy, yeah, yes, they did, they, they did, you exactly right. The one thing I didn't like about Randon is how he referred to Venus, who's 24, who's also on the team. He referred to Venus as poverty-like. She's giving poverty energy. <laughs> now, I Listen. took offense to that. I took offense to that. Like, how you going to hate? Because everybody knows right. poverty is known as the Black Widow. You can't get mad at poverty just because she a bad bitch and she was running them <laughs> motherfuckers like that. Listen, call it what you want. I call it gameplay and it worked. In a case, she can't help it that the man was stupid. I think Randon is a hater because he can't be Venus. Because Venus is aesthetic. Venus is a whole mood. And out of the 20, I want to watch Venus play. I want to see her play. Because she's 24 and she already got word of it because soda when well, let her know yeah that's right and that's how they really connected so i told you everyone's open to connections mm -hmm. now random was talking to soda and that's who he was talking to when he said poverty light and soda took that right back to venus and i think right then and there now i hope venus <laughs> isn't using soda as a shield because that. i can see venus doing that like making it look like they're in an alliance and then out of nowhere he stabs her ass in the back mm -hmm. i will say this i hope venus does get because you you got two <laughs> things already working against you number one you're young and number two you're gorgeous i mean you're beautiful I mean, look. So they're going to use that against you and i hope she does get out there they've already coined her princess they already tevin now tevin let's get into tevin okay 
I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. Tevin is my number one. <laughs> point blank, period. He's, He's an actor. One. He's an actor. I didn't That's know he was twenty four too. <laughs> oh, you know what? If they play their cards right, Tevin and Venus, they could win it. They could be one and two, be, yeah. one and two. If they really give a damn about it <laughs> and put I, that their egos aside, because that's exactly. very same same main character energy, <laughs> and yes. I love that. Right? That's another thing about Tevin. <laughs> Tevin is young and he's a bad motherfucker, <laughs> and Look, he can. Braids to match his team. He is ready. <laughs> okay. He's ready. He, he he got the memo, baby. Oh, what I'm team yellow orange. <laughs> Locked it. <laughs> Sandy blonde braids. Here we go, bitch. I'm gonna need you to put them in. Box braid me down. Box braid me down. Yes, I ain't even mad at him. Tevin is my number one. He did yeah. call out Venus for being a princess. So again, I hope that she takes that. And she's like, oh, okay. Well, let me show you what this princess can do. And mm -hmm. she gets out there and she does the damn thing. I'm 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 confident in her that she can do that. Any final thoughts on any of the tribes? I really want to say um I think this would be a good time to talk about <laughs> the the protective styles. Now we talked about this a little bit backstage, okay? <laughs> Survivor has come a long way. I am so proud to see our sisters <laughs> and our brothers, okay, or he, she, they, them in between, mm -hmm. okay, with oh, these protective oh. styles. Because before, in the beginning, they did they wasn't ready. They wasn't mm -hmm. ready for that jungle mm -hmm. heat. They wasn't ready how for that humidity. We, how could we've been? You know, we had the no idea water, what was really going on. None of that. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. And all of that. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. So fast forward up until now, I'm loving these braids. I'm loving seeing the braids. Just like Baby Girl Twist. last, baby girl the last season had her braids braid me down. I, I love it. <laughs> I'm here for it. But I know when they get home and they finally get a chance to wash that hair, if you've ever been on Survivor people, and you do it when they vote it off, some people do when they're voted off. <laughs> they, you know, when they come back and they're part of the jury. They give a beat down, head to toe. Ow. And you thought I wasn't when I was? I had some no, extra I, hair in my carry on yes, bag, baby. Today, Time. I was ready. I had some sacred in my carry on bag, baby. Ready. Okay. We, shout out to Beyonce. You. Okay, Lots my sister popping. used that sacred girl. Lots my sister popping. used that sacred on her hair. Ew. Oil. I'll tell y'all about that later. <laughs> so yes, I'm loving the braids. I'm loving the protective styles. I, I will anybody as black as ever been on Survivor. If by chance you happen to see this, how long did it take you to clean your hair? What was the hair situation when you got back home? Was it because, of course, us being super fans watching it? I just see you out there all sandy and muddy <laughs> and all kinds of nasty shit in your head. And then it's just floating the ocean and like bathes together as y'all strategize. That's it. Like, like really? That's every three days. <laughs> Which is great, I guess. I hope that's the that's the best part. But damn, I don't <laughs> you know. I'm just saying. Nice deep conditioner first thing when you land right. on mainland. Right. I'm just saying it don't. I, I, let how let me let me know what is the process <laughs> like. God, I would baby, love to know. I would love to know. Okay, <laughs> that part. So look, they get ready. I say so we already introduced all the different tribes. Okay, so they getting into their first challenge okay so the first challenge is they have to basically is for the camp supplies mm -hmm. they have to do this obstacle course where they're going through the mud they're going through a net they have to carry some puzzle pieces back down to the end once they get to the end with the puzzle pieces they have to put the puzzle together retrieve a key the first place winner they win the supplies for their camp which is like a pot a machete and a flint the second place gets to choose between um was it savvy or sweat savvy or sweat okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the second place gets to choose that third place gets whatever is left from there right so a part of the first challenge like i said 
right off the bat, they muddy, they nasty. They got to carry these big ass pieces. <laughs> barely on the aisle in 15 minutes, drenched in mud. As soon, <laughs> at least the editing makes it look yeah. that, right. It, it's exactly what we were on the island. They are drenched head to toe. They look mud. disgusting. Exactly <laughs> what we were talking about. The protective styles. You just see the braids right here. You see my sister here and my brother there. Just muddy as hell. <laughs> it's just so bad. Oh, I God. know. God bless them, though. You know, but um, the Nami tribe ends up getting first place. Okay. Second yes. place goes to Sega. Mm -hmm. And Sega chooses to go with the Savvy Challenge since they, you know, they wanted to keep it on the winning streak since they were able to um, finish the puzzle. Of, at least they wanted to do that. So, third yeah. place. Yanu was left with the sweat challenge, okay? So when they get back to their camps, of course, like I said, um, Nami, they good. They going back. They getting everything together. They they having a good old grand ass time. At but you camp, know right? what's happening during this time? They're all like, like I said, they're like floating around uh, in the water, like taking off the mud. But Liz mm -hmm. is bragging. <laughs> about her her what she has like they asked her what do you do and she like says oh, i run i used to run four companies now i run two you know and so like <laughs> and i sold two of my companies and then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so seven is like oh really okay <laughs> You know, the game starts right now, right? Mm -hmm, okay, he's mm -hmm. blocking everything that she's saying because Tevin is there for the money. Mm -hmm. You might be there for the experience, that's but he's right. there for the money. And he's because clocking you can go with or without the money. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mind you, like she said, she had four businesses, she sold two, and you still sitting on two more businesses. So mm -hmm. come on now, yes, sir. just saying, just saying. So <laughs> Sega decides to go, like I said, with the Savvy Challenge, and it's Charlie and Ben. They have to decipher mm -hmm. this, this code type thing to, you know, figure out, of course, complete the challenge to get to the, you know, to be able to get the rest of their camp supplies, right? Now, again, off the bat, okay, I can't remember which one it was, either Charlie, but either way it goes, that the airhead one, the, the Bill and Ted's excellent adventure guy. He called them dumb and dumber alliance. He did. <laughs> he did. Ben. Ben is the one who called them the dumb and dumber alliance. Listen, ben, don't you put that leave on nobody else. You keep that shit to yourself. You will not put that evil dumb shit on me. You will not call me dumb and dumber with your dumb ass. We're not going to do that. <laughs> We're not going to do that. So um, they didn't end up completing the challenge. You know, they they tried. I'll give them that. And so they didn't end up. At least up they completing. tried. And at like they really tried, they tried and they cared and they they were spent with their energy. But at least they spent their time. I mean, all the way up until because it was the, the hourglass. The hourglass mm -hmm. went all the way up until the last <laughs> drop of sand. So they tried all the way up until the very end. Right. You get to Yanu, and it's a sweat challenge. Off the rip, Jelinski ass <laughs> raised up his hand because at first, you know, one of them was like, "Well, who all thinks that? I mean, you know, who all thinks they can do it?" And the Q was like, well, shit, "Anybody can do it." <laughs> Q was like, "Shit, anybody can do it, bitch. Who gonna do it though?" Jelinski was the one raised his hand up. Shit, I know I can do it. I already knew, like, oh my god, me too. Now, the challenge already was, knew. <laughs> already knew. Already knew. It's not gonna work out the way you think it is. I just, I just know it. I just know it. The challenge was they had to carry buckets of water. There's two big, um, like porcelain urn type things. Mm -hmm. They have two buckets. They have to fill up the buckets with water and fill up those big old porcelain urns now they have until the hourglass runs out of sand to complete this just like four hours thing, four hours now the key thing is the catch is the buckets have about four holes in them so as you're filling them up you're going back now it's a little bit of a distance they have to you know run down to the water to at the ocean 
run up this hill, run around a certain obstacle thing to the ports and things and dump them in there. So your bucket may be full when you get to the water, but by the time you go to dump it off, it's about halfway, maybe less than half full, right? If you don't cover in the holes, if you cover up the holes with your fingers as best you can, you might have half, maybe three quarters full, right? If you don't fall or anything like that. <laughs> exactly, right? So they're about what I think he said like an hour and a half into it. And Jelinski says, I'm looking at these big old bins and they're just not filling up. And I just feel like we're getting nowhere fast. And it said we had several hours to finish. And in my head, several hours means <laughs> seven. So because we ain't got that much time, I think we should just go ahead and quit. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. You lost me from the moment you said several means seven. Seven. And then the school systems, the school district. I blame, I blame COVID. I blame COVID. I do too. And oh, that had to be mediocre to have a mediocre mindset and they just be so just arrogant that you're so correct at 21. To just, I blame COVID. I really <laughs> do. He was still in high school when COVID hit, so you know you didn't graduate with honors. Very obviously. true. I'm, you know, no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. Pink I'm lemonade. sorry. I've, I've been drinking a little bit. I'm sorry. So we both have. It's okay. When I when I drink, the truth comes out. I that's sorry. but it's very fair because he but showed himself on national. He did it's I. It's, uh, I was just so upset with Jelinski this entire episode. That right there was the first thing that irritated me about him. You you only get an a hour and a half into this and off the rip, you ready to damn quit. Now he's doing the puzzle. I mean, he's doing the challenge with Q. Q, big, cock, strong, like he was a former football player. Q is TTG. He's trained to go. He's conditioned for this when he played yeah. football. You and can even hear him. him. That's right. His it's like he's coach in my head. Coach Q. Yes. Coach like Q. he's That's he's a good just, name for him. <laughs> he's just coach and he's Q. like a soldier too. Like you don't yes. give up. Where I'm from, you don't give up. Yes. You don't quit. You get disowned when you pull stuff like this. And yes. I completely agree because that mindset is so limiting in the in a stra strategic game like Survivor, like trick why you here in the first place if you if you just and like this is the pattern we're talking about with Jelinski so he can I just say this can I talk about the hourglass and what he pulls it oh with please it? go ahead go ahead girl. because he, he he's him and Q are talking about it and Q's really trying to like lift his spirits up and be like get him back in his head back in the game and he's like I quit and then and he goes to the damn uh, hourglass and and shuts the damn hourglass without consulting with Q at all. Just made the decision for the both of them and shut the damn hourglass down the beach and it broke. End of challenge. Didn't even ask Q. And Gave Q up. is even saying, like, are you sure? Are you sure you can't do no more? You sure we can't complete this? And it's like he I feel like he gave, he came into it already defeated some sort of way. I feel like he did because he was quick to damn give up that damn fast. And then, like you say, you don't even really give Q an option because even if you wanted to quit, Q could have kept on going, not saying that he would have filled it up himself, but damn, you don't even let the time run out. You break the hourglass. Like a, ta like a tantrum, like a toddler. So they don't end up winning. I mean, he could do the whole thing. Like he could do it. He can do it. He'll stand up, volunteered for the challenge, only to throw it away. Yo, dumbass, volunteered <laughs> for what? I mean, and you have Banu, who Q and Banu, which that's a dream team right there. Banu wouldn't have given up like that. Nope. He's such a super fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if he known that they wouldn't have completed it. He still, he still would have finished, finished it like the other team till the last yep. sand dropped. Yep. Not like barely a quarter in and then you just... He just gives up. 
So um, everybody's at the tribe. Everybody's mingling, getting to know each other. Um, now over at the, um, I be getting, I have to get the names down and together so that I don't mess them up. The Yanu tribe. Okay, so we Correct. have Tiffany, Kinsey, mm -hmm. Jelinski, and Q. They're all in the alliance together, right? Quite honestly, Jelinski is at the bottom of that alliance. Tiffany and Kenzie were out because Tiffany wants to find an idol. Tiffany is me on Survivor. <laughs> like, we're going to be cool. I'm going to play like I'm gathering some stuff. And I'm looking for an idol the whole damn time. <laughs> Tiffany and Kenzie instantly clicked. They became friends because they're all out looking for an idol. That's right. Yes, I was so was excited natural. to see this happen. It really yes, was. It was and like, natural. We both made that eye contact and they were like, girl, it's on. It's Let's on. go. Yes. <laughs> I liked it. It was real, real cute. Mm -hmm. And so Tiffany ended up finding a beware advantage, right? Mm -hmm. So the beware advantage was basically it was a clue that, um, you know, you have to, if you don't win the next challenge, then your team, then you can come back and you can find the next clue to this box because it was a box. And of course it had a key on it. And if she didn't find it, she, you know, but basically since so she found it right then and there, she lost her vote at the next upcoming um, uh, tribal council or whatnot, right? Well, she was cool with that anyway, because she was like, well, fuck that. I, I, I'm I'm trying to give me an idol anyway, so I didn't even know that. <laughs> That's the energy I'm talking about. Like, day <laughs> one, right off the bat, like, fuck this, okay? Okay, like, I'm cool with it. But that's the confidence you need to be like, I will not get voted out first exactly. one with this huge thing. Now I got to, and now she already has protection too. So yeah. she already, because she wants it just as much as Tiffany wants it. Kenzie yes. wants it. I mean, if anything, Kenzie wants Tiffany to find it just as much. And Kenzie's willing to help Tiffany get it. Yes. I like them. I like them together. Mm -hmm. I like them mm -hmm. a lot. Now, Jess is the one that's feeling... Um, she feels nervous because she feels like no one likes her. And like Kenzie yeah. is telling her, you're not really talking strategy with anybody. So everybody just sort of feels like, mm, I really don't, I really can't read you. I really don't know what's going on with you. I got to, got you know, kind of feel you out just a little bit. So Jess is feeling a little bit nervous. And so that's making, you know, um, Kenzie and, and Tiff and Q and Jelinski all look at her a little bit like, okay, She's somebody I need to vote off. And again, and so, just, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, now they're now she's the outsider. Yeah. Now she's the outsider. So, and I think is Bono Bonu even aware of this yet? I think Bonu is sort of going with what the majority feels mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. he didn't have a real reason why Jess would be somebody to vote off first. Correct. Nor the other person, you know, he, he really didn't have a valid reason for it that I saw at least. He's just sort of going with whatever majority is saying right now. Again, because this is it's, it's the day one. It's fresh. That's right. He doesn't mm -hmm. really know, right? So you got that tribe. Then you have the Nami tribe. You have Soda and Tevin, like we were talking about. They over there singing camp songs, driving Hunter <laughs> up the fucking wall. <laughs> He's he's sick of this shit. He irritated. <laughs> and so you have um Tevin and Hunter, they end up having um their own little alliance. They call it the Andy Griffith Alliance. <laughs> I now, think that's so cute. I think that's cute because Hunter this is the thing though. Hunter was telling Tevin that, you know, I see you and Soda and y'all have this outgoing personality that I wish I had, but I'm so introverted and I wish I could, you know, be that with you guys. Part of me thought, yes, he was saying that to bond with him. And mm -hmm. then another part of me felt like, okay, that's gameplay. Because you mm -hmm. were just over here in one breath saying how you were annoyed by this and that and the other. <laughs> but then you that's get over right. here and you and Tevin face and you like, yeah, y'all are like this. And I wish I could be like this. Because da, 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 da. they were separate from the tribe because they were gathering wood and stuff. So that was yes. how he was able to start talking to him because Hunter yeah. is from like a small town and he's very introverted. So that's how he was able to get the courage to talk to Tevin in the first place because they were in a whole group when they t said, Oh, well, I like Andy Griffith too. And that's how they talked about it. Mm -hmm. But when they thought they called themselves the Andy Griffith Alliance was when they were separated. And I, I yeah. thought that was very powerful because it, you're right. But like, maybe that was his way of, 
playing the game, but in his uh -huh. comfort introverted way. So he, cause Hunter's built like a man's man. <laughs> He's yeah. tall, everyday white man with blonde hair. And he was, and that was his comfort is to gather, hunt and gather to get mm -hmm. the, the, the you're camp right, you're right. Um, together. So, um, and Tevin wanted to help out. And so I felt like that was a good strategy for him to really open up to Tevin of, of all people. Cause I don't Hopefully think he would have made a, good connection <laughs> anyway, I, no. I just yeah. hope he doesn't just don't backstab Tevin I agree that's the only do thing that. I think that's me being a black woman watching Survivor and seeing our counterparts up there being like we're oh they're so outgoing they're great but like I said with Soda and Venus I don't want Soda or Tevin to wind up being a shield Right. I actually don't want to see good people because like Maria is a good person I don't want to see her be use as a shield either yeah. but i think she would be the one using somebody as a shield yeah that's her strategy yeah. i just don't want to see people of color like not our black and brown sisters no <laughs> no none of that i'm sorry okay i'm just gonna say I I get it. be biased everyone has a chance to win be like venus i'm down for venus too right yeah yeah like I want, I want to see her go far too, cause she ain't no little princess. I don't want to see her, but I, I want her to utilize that as her, as, as for her advantage, to uh -huh. like be the snake. Like let them call you princess, girl. Go ahead. And that's what I said. I want to see her use that and come back and get the ass. Like show them what it is. Don't, don't prove nobody right. That's all I'm saying. That's right. Um. So after a while, a boat comes to each one of the camps. Mm -hmm. Each one of the camps, they That's get a boat. That's on day two. Yes, mm -hmm. day two. So it's like, you know, one person must get in the boat right now. You'll return back to the camp, you know, before the end of the day. Jelinski, once again, <laughs> volunteers his ass. So I can do it. I can do it. I want to go. Banu was like, you know what? You show right. You go. You have yeah, it. Banu was like, I want to argue. argue. Mm-hmm. You got to play, boy. You go. So Jelinski goes, Ted goes, and mm -hmm. Maria goes, right? Mm -hmm. So when they all get to, you know, wherever the destination is, there is a challenge that's basically like there's three different cards. There's a torch card, there's a vote card, and um, there's like a skull card. Whoever reveals the torch card, you have, I mean, whoever gets the torch card, you have to reveal, hey, I have the torch card. And the other two people Whoever gets the vote card, they have to um, you ha they have to convince you basically that they have the vote card. So whoever has a vote card has to convince you that they have it. Whoever has a skull card, they have to try to convince you that they have the vote card. If you get it right and you guess the right person, then you and that person get an extra vote, and the person with the skull card is is out basically, right? If you guess it wrong, then you lose your vote the person with the vote loses their vote and the skull person, they get their vote still. Um, <laughs> do they get an extra vote? I don't remember. I don't, I don't, rem I feel I don't like... think they do. Mm -hmm. I don't think they do. I think they just get they, they get to still keep their vote, but the other mm -hmm. two people lose their votes, right? So Maria ends up picking the torch card. Tevin picks the vote card and Jelinski dumbass picks the skull card, right? So Maria reveals the card. I have the torch card. So she goes to the two gentlemen. Okay, present your cases. What's what? Okay. Jana, you want to take it from there or you want me to keep explaining? <laughs> Jelinski. <laughs> Jelinski uh, has the skull card and he's trying to convince Maria that he has the vote card. And I forgot what he said, but Tevin... It was the funniest thing he was, was like so pussy about it. He he was like, okay, Maria. All right. I'm not gonna I lie have, to you. I, I have, have I have the vote card. I was like, motherfucker. It was the look on Tevin's face when he was like, I right, have the vote like, card. And Tevin said, What? <laughs> and I was like, I, I swear to God. <laughs> like, that was the thing. Cause then it was Tevin's turn and he didn't even sell it. Um Jelinski didn't even sell it really. No, he was like, yeah, no. I, uh, yeah I, I have the vote card. I guarantee you I have the vote card. Um, and Tevin was like, I, you know, I have the vote card. And he put on a little show for it too. Like uh -huh. he was very convincing because he is an actor. So he, his acting chops really sold it to Maria. So Maria was like, 
said, I believe you more so. And if I do, you get to keep your vote. But if I believe you, I, Zelensky, I would lose my vote. But you didn't do a lot of convincing. And then Zelensky gave in. Yeah, well, this is, where, this is how she this is how she got his ass. She was like, you know what? A part of me is telling me that Jelinski is lying, but I'm not too sure. So she was like, you know what? If I choose you, I get to keep my vote. That's good. You good. But Jelinski, if I choose you and I lose my vote, then I'm going to have no choice but to go back to my tribe and tell my tribe that you lied. And they're going to whoop your ass. Yes, they will. They're going to whoop your ass. But that's but what that she was wanted to say. Jelinski with his soft ass, gonna say, All right, it you really know, was. my bad. I don't even want no problems like that. I'm lying. <laughs> I got the skull card. My bad. I was just playing. My bad. Yo, bad. You just gave up just like so that. quick, just so like quick. how we did in the other challenge. Didn't even like gave like 10%. No fight in them. One, no, one check. no, that was strike two for me right there. That was it. That was strike two. I'm like, You know what? I don't even need to get to a strike three. That boy got to go. That boy got to go. I'm <laughs> sorry. Gotta no, go. no Tino Shane, no Pink Lemonade. No that Lemonade. boy got to go. I don't know where he got to go, but he can't be here in Fiji. <laughs> okay, he got to go to hell on. So, please. of course, he, he basically gave up his vote. So, Tevin so and Maria get an extra vote. Good for them, right? Now, they while all it. of this is going on, you got Tiffany and Kenzie that, oh, we hold on. I skipped over because we got to get to the challenge first. Okay. So there's a challenge that they have, right? Now, this is the the immunity challenge that they have. The immunity challenge is they got this big ass 500 pound <laughs> gecko. Okay. They got to pull this big ass 500 pound gecko through an obstacle course. You know, Survivor just gets <laughs> more Wilder and more and creative just, with yes. the challenges. And I, I always wanted to be on Survivor. That has been my number one dream. If I could do anything, I would love to be on Survivor. I just cannot swim. swim that's why I have that's what's holding never, me back. Yes, I have never. If if I Otherwise could swim, I, would. I absolutely would have auditioned for Survivor. I would have auditioned for Survivor every damn year. I would have auditioned for that. But I don't know how to swim. And I'm sorry, I didn't see too many people on there, black people specifically, <laughs> go on there that can't swim and you damn near drown. <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, do me like for this. Immunity, gonna tell me. For immunity, is it worth it? Oh, no. Nah. It ain't it ain't You're worth not it gonna clown me. <laughs> nope. Y'all ain't remixing no TikTok videos off my dumb ass. No. So they, they got the little challenge where they had to do, you know, bring the whole little gecko. Uh, uh, you know, get it across the line or, or whatnot. So, um, the first place, Nami, once again, Nami wins first place, and um, it was Venus and Soda on the puzzle because after they had to drag the big ass gecko, they have there was a puzzle at the end that they had to solve. Venus and um, Soda, they damn did that. Shout out to they Nami, they worked so one. well together, they, yeah. they really Nami do. Is, Nami is the number one child tribe right now. To ain't nobody be on. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody beating them. Second place was Siga. It was Mariah and Maria. They work well together <laughs> as well on the puzzle. Yeah, I'll do. give them that. And the women now, were uh, connecting on Siga too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, third place once again was Yanu. Yanu. You had Jelinski and, and Jess, Jess on the puzzle. You know, Jelinski, that was the third strike for me right there because um, he he hopped in there once again wanting to do that puzzle. He even went around and ran and looked at Nami's puzzle once they completed it to see if he could get it down and was so sure he had it, came back and still didn't damn Lost. get it right. I'm like, that's strike three. Send that boy home. Home, he still got please. Similar. He is. He got Similac on his breath Goodness. and he got infamil behind his ears. Send his ass home. Send his ass home. He he I'm sorry, send his ass home. So of course after they it's lost the true, challenge. Please. That's exactly what Tiffany needed because Tiffany needed for them to lose so that she could go back. She could find the clues that she needed for mm -hmm. that lockbox. 
She found it. Her and Kenzie worked together. She was able to get the first immunity for season 46. Because Q okay. and Banu were on their journey because they were looking for the girls. So she yes. had to make quick right. moves You're in right. order for them to not be able to see her sneaking around. She did that. I'm proud of you. Shout out to you, Tiffany girl. You did that. I'm proud of you. And you got the first um, idol mm -hmm. on this season. Went to a black woman. Ew, ew, shout out to you, girlfriend. Yes. Okay. Shout out to you, girlfriend. That was girl power with Tiffany and Kenzie. Yeah. They did that. I'm proud of them. And so, this is also, sorry, during no, the walk with, with Banu and Q during the walk. Or was it with Kenzie? Q decides to oh, reveal yes. to somebody that we're not voting for Jess. Because at some yes. point they're talking about... Was it Jelinski or Jess? Because they're both being mm -hmm. put up because they were the cause of uh, not getting the immunity. So everyone was saying, we're going to tell the fake vote to Jess. It's going to be Jelinski, but we're all voting Jess out because nobody had word of how Jelinski really was. Because mm -hmm. Jelinski was part of that four. Yep. Um, yeah. Until Q finally opened his mouth. <laughs> thank, thank you. Shout out to you, Q. Shout out to you because I was like, ain't no way. He couldn't take it no more. He had seen this boy make some dumb moves already. He said, ain't no way. I'm sorry. I can't even do it. Y'all got to do something about that. I'm not voting for uh, Jess. Y'all can write her name down all you want to, but I will not be writing her name down. No. Because he revealed he how Jelinski was not yeah. truthful in what he told the tribe how they decided and he kept saying we when he said it wasn't even my idea to quit he decided to quit he was speaking a lot of french this episode well we are one of the same and we <laughs> feel like and we thought now nah, yes. brother uh -uh, uh -uh. he couldn't take it anymore he had to find time he had to get isolate one person and i think it was banu or kenzie in that four alliance to say change it we have to get yes, him out and now. That's good. They he is to do that. He, they needed to do that. So ultimately, mm -hmm. when they came to um, the tribal council, everybody spoke their piece on this, that, and the other. And like you say, it was Jess and Jelinski up. Mm -hmm. They thought Jelinski went home because I was going to throw <laughs> something had they not voted his ass out. And he went in there confident, baby. He was. He just oh, knew he was just... It ain't gonna be me. I ain't, he just knew it wasn't gonna be him. Like and I just keep saying, like the king of Delu Delulu. I don't know where he felt like he was safe. Cause even in his away message. I was completely blindsided. How? I don't ever feel safe on Survivor. You made three wild rookie moves and felt safe. Like, you idiot. <laughs> you idiot. He was not ready for Survivor. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was not ready. He came in there with his little boy underwear on. He didn't come in there with his big boy drawers on at all. And Survivor ate his ass up. Ate his ass up. Like sent no his ass crumbs. Home, bye, bye. Bye. Um, so my top pick, okay, of course, is Tevin. Tevin is number one for me. <laughs> Look at his face, girl. He said, he This is crazy. mine, this is my island, this is all mine. <laughs> That's the energy That's from exactly the pick. How looking. That's exactly <laughs> from the mine, mine. It's mine. Yes, it is, baby. It's all yours. You see this hair? Mines. You see this island? Mines. You see this money? Mines. All <laughs> mines. <laughs> Tevin is my number one. Okay. Yes. Tevin is my number two. Soda is my number three. And right now, Mackenzie, uh, Kenzie is my number four. I like Kenzie. I got high hopes for Kenzie. Them is my, my, my them, top one. Them, it's Kenzie and Tiffany. I feel like that could be my yeah. number four. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> if I can so see two. anybody go to the final four, I would love to see these four right here go to the this final four. This would be a four. good, great one. For the last two. Don't get that you like it or not, because I already know she's going <laughs> to. You know, she is. But you know what? Soda, 
she gonna be anybody in a fire making challenge. Mm-hmm. So that's you, what you she can, prepped for. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can She's take ready. her to the end. She was the first one to light fire yep. on the island. Mm-hmm. Yep. You can take her to the end and use her to take somebody out if you wanted to. Like if they wanted this to be the top three, they could use Please. soda to take out Kenzie, and it would be them at the top three. That's what I would like to see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Any final thoughts on this? This was fun. It really was. I was so excited to do this. <laughs> I love Survivor, and I really like this season. I don't know. I'm so excited to see how these people play. Banu is like the super fan, so I'm so yeah. I'm rooting for him, and I love his story because um, uh, he just got a citizenship. He said a year ago. Yes, he yeah. became a citizen a year ago. Citizenship. Cause you ain't gonna do me like that. <laughs> now he became a okay. last year. And he was been a super fan. It reminds me a lot of all these um, past participants who grew up on Survivor in their homeland, and then that probably like encouraged them to come to America and like mm-hmm. uh, like learn English. A lot of these people learn English watching this show, and it has an international. I'm getting so misty because Aww. it's so sweet how the show really touches everyone. That's why the representation is so important. And uh, to just see everyone play is just going to be amazing. I think Bonnie's going to go far. Um, so he's like one of my little um, honorable mentions because yeah. he has the heart to go I for wish you would have told me. I would have had a picture of him That's up okay. here. For hey, sure. it's okay. We'll next time. Next up time. Next week for him. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, but I do want to see. Um, I love. I want protective styles. I'm going for all the protective styles. Yeah. That's what I'm going to go for. All the protective styles. <laughs> and Kenzie, I love her fiery red. Venus, I love her energy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Maria, I want to see Maria go far. Do it for the mamas. Yes. Do it for the working mamas. That's right. I know she That's works right. hard. So, and she's the oldest one on the cast too. So I definitely want to see her win. Yes, yeah. I want to see her win. I want to see her do it. She's got that mom strength. So she's gonna get yeah, out there, kick do. some ass, and take some names. And I'm here for. I it. hope so. It is the unifier because I think hers. <laughs> <laughs> I think her skills in special ed will will come very powerful when necessary. So Who, uh, sodas, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. we should do it one big time for the special ed. Okay, and come on now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Teachers represent. She knows how to deal with different temperaments too, so that'll That's work for right. her favor. Because she was already doing it with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> who it was on the team i forgot who it was she was already dealing with somebody i think it was with princess a princess was about to go off on somebody oh yeah she was trying to talk to Tevin in front of everybody Mm -hmm. in the campfire and she was just trying to calm it down yeah yeah i'm here for it though shout out to the black folks on there i'm rooting for everybody (laughs) black period all right that's on youtube i said protective style so if you want to flag it <laughs> flag on baby i ain't got no flag but flag on damn it okay but that's what but, that's what i meant <laughs> y'all make sure to join us next week okay mm-hmm. when we get into some more survivor okay yes Soul sister survivor okay we yes <laughs> that's exactly it i love it <laughs> We appreciate y'all for watching us. Make sure you check uh, check us out next week for some more Soul Sister Survival. Okay, y'all, we out. Definitely love you. Bye. Yeah, I love you.